security. October 21st, 2015. It's finally here. Here are the kids that have been stealing my papers. Get out of here, slacker! Hello everyone, I'm Landon from Chris Size Productions and welcome to another episode of Life with LA. This video is pretty special to me. In Back to the Future 2, one of my favorite movies of all time, Doc, Marty, and Jennifer travel to the future to the date October 21st, 2015. Where are we? When are we? We're descending toward Hill Valley, California at 4.29 p.m. on Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. 2015? You mean we're in the future? That's this week. That is super cool to me. Even though we don't have the same technology and stuff as that universe's October 21st, 2015 has, that movie has still inspired us to create a lot of things that are in the movie. Another thing that makes this video special to me is that it is the 100th episode of Life with LA. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It took me a long time to get here, but I'm finally here. And you are the only ones that I can thank, because I don't have friends. So, in light of what I've said this whole video, let's take a trip back in time. <laughs> See what I did there? And take a look at some of my earliest videos here on YouTube. Most of these videos were recorded in my old house before I moved here. So, let's check them out. Hey guys, guess what? Today's the day Marty McFly arrived in the future and back to the future too. Not. All right, so in 2012, there were a lot of people posting a lot of things on Facebook. Kind of like today, actually. But they were posting things like, oh, the world's gonna end in December, and I know the day Marty McFly arrived in the future in 20, in, in, in Back to the Future 2. <laughs> I was about to say 2015. Um, but all these pictures were labeled with like the day or the week that the picture was put out on the internet. So it wasn't actually real and it really ticked me off because I love the movies a lot and when this stuff started going around I was like, that's not right. This is what's right. Watch the movie. And uh, so because of that I made a video um, with a little... Uh, footage from the movie saying when the actual date was and turns out now is almost the time when that date is so if you'd like to watch that video you can click the link in the description below or I'll probably link to it at the end of the video so you can wait till then alright let's talk about the most viewed video on the channel five reasons why guys need to let their hair grow out this is literally the most popular thing I have that I've ever made in my whole life. And it's called Five Reasons Why Guys Need to Let Their Hair Grow Out. It was a video I made in response to my friend Staples Man's video of why guys should cut their hair. It was a really fun thing to make. I even made one of my only Vine posts of me turning on the lights whenever I was going to shoot the video. And who would have thought it would have got as many views as it did, but somehow it did. It's really awesome, and I'm sure most of you watching this video right now have seen it, but if you haven't, you can check the link in the description below. It'll take you right to it. Or if you just want to watch it again, that would be fine. I watch it sometimes just to be like, man, that was a terrible video. Why do people watch it so much? Now, I started this channel a long time ago when I was in a gymnasium for a church in Columbia, South Carolina. And the first video I ever uploaded to this channel was a video that I recorded on my phone with my friends Josh and Aaron playing around with a rolly chair and a bouncy castle. Here we go. It's really not as professional as anything I've ever made since or even some of the things I made before 
Um, but it was fun, and I put it on the channel just so that it, there would be something there in case anybody stumbled across it. They would see that I'm planning on making funny and cool stuff with my friends on the channel. All right, there's one more thing I think needs to be addressed, and that is my old YouTube channel that was just mine that I made in 2007. Now this was when I was 11, and at the time YouTube didn't want people under a certain age, I think it was 13, making YouTube channels without their parents' permission or making YouTube videos without their parents involved. I don't know if they still have these guidelines now, but I know they did back then because my dad had to either um, be a part of making the video or have a little bumper at the end that said that he approved of me making the video. I, I don't know why, but they did, and so that's what happened back then on the channel FTP96 Junior. This was my first channel and it was when I was very young. I was 11 years old, this was 2007. And um, I had a lot of ideas for different things to do, including what was my very first video that I ever uploaded to YouTube in my entire life. And it is called Lego Star Wars 2 Reviewed. <laughs> Back then my dad came up with titles for things and thumbnails and, and description stuff. So if you look at it and you're like, man, this is really weird. Most of it came from my dad. Hello YouTubers. This is a new day. I know this is a new channel. Well, I guess I'm gonna post this on my channel and the channel that me and my son have created, FTP96 Junior. I'm going to paste it on both. Now, he is right here. Hi. And so I am going to get up, and I am going to let him sit down and do a video for you. And we will edit it together and have a good time doing it. Okay, well, here I go. Goodbye. Hello, everybody. I am FTP96 Jr. And my dad and I are going to be making videos. And... It's going to be about Lego Star Wars 2 today. So, um, I'm going to try to make a screen behind me. Boop. Hopefully, it appeared. Now, I watched it before making this video, and it was really embarrassing to see me with my, my little baby voice and, and stuff like that. But, I will say that as a memento of that channel, I have kept that hat. If you watch those videos, I wear a certain hat. It's this green fishing hat that I've only worn once while actually fishing. And I would always wear them in the video just like this. Maybe when I'm old and gray, I'll watch it and be like, that was me when I had hair. And that's what I did with it. Covered it with a hat. Now I cover my baldness with a hat. Small world. <sighs> if you'd like to check that video out or any of the other ones I've talked about in this episode, the links to them are all in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Make sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to watch more of my stuff in the future. Thank you for commemorating 100 episodes of Life with LA with me, and here's to 100 more. I'm Landon from Chris Slides Productions, and I'll see you guys next time in another episode of Life with L.A.